We know that effective vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna will be ready for distribution here in Canada within weeks. And while we cannot control when these vaccines arrive in Alberta, we can make sure that when we get them, we are ready to roll them out as quickly as we can. That's why today I'm pleased to announce that I've appointed uh, Municipal Affairs Deputy Minister Paul Winnick to lead Alberta's COVID-19 Vaccine Task Force, a multidisciplinary team drawn from across the public sector, the public service, that will execute Alberta's vaccine distribution. This is an absolutely critical task, and General Winnick will walk through some of the specifics of it in a moment. Smooth and rapid vaccine distribution will not only be essential to our economic recovery, but they will be a matter of life and death for many Albertans and their families. Before I continue, I want to be clear. Alberta's government will not make any mandatory vaccination. Some think that this is controversial, but we don't live in a country where government can inject you with something against your will. But we need as many Albertans as possible to get vaccinated. And let me be clear about that. I will certainly choose to receive this vaccine when it's my turn, and I strongly urge others to do so. Alberta Health and Alberta Health Services are very well advanced in developing our vaccine distribution program. I'm happy to report that Alberta is well prepared to receive, distribute, and administer a vaccine as soon as doses arrive. Alberta Health Services already has 13 vaccine depots throughout the province, all of which can receive and distribute the Moderna vaccine. Uh, that uh, it needs to be stored and uh, transported at minus 20 degrees, so it does require special equipment. There are another 17 non-AH facilities that are also able to handle vaccine storage, meaning there, that there are a total of 30 vaccine depots across Alberta. The Pfizer vaccine, on the other hand, requires ultra-cold tr transportation and storage at 80 degrees below zero Celsius. Currently, three of our 13 vaccine depots can receive and store the Pfizer vaccine, and AHS is working to expand that capacity as we speak, ordering additional uh, freezers and related equipment. In phase one, during the first three months of 2021, we anticipate that we will be able to administer vaccines to approximately 435,000 Albertans. That's a little more than 10% of our population. Both the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines require two doses to be fully effective, separated by three to six weeks. So vaccinating 435 Albertans means administering about 870,000 doses. Not all of this will arrive at once. We've been assured by the federal government that shipments will begin to arrive by January 4 and continue to arrive in waves throughout the early part of next year. Alberta Health Services, Public Health, and the Workplace Health and Safety Branch will administer vaccines in Phase 1, which will focus entirely on Alberta's most at-risk populations. This is fully in line with the recommendation of the uh, Special Advisory Committee on COVID-19 Vaccination uh, that has been a collaborative effort between the provinces and the federal government. That includes residents of long-term care homes and designated supported living facilities, staff who work in those facilities, on-reserve First Nations, and healthcare workers most needed to ensure workforce capacity and most likely to transmit COVID-19 to those at greatest risk. Phase two will be run from April to June, by which time our goal is to have 30% of our population immunized. Part of General Winnick's job will be to identify priority groups for phase two based on what kind of uptake we've received in the first phase, together with, of course, input from our medical experts at AHS and Alberta Health. By the summer, we plan to begin phase three, where vaccine will be offered to all Albertans. And that means it will be months before vaccine is available to the general population. This is the unfortunate reality that Canadians across the country face and people around the world. Obviously, the risk of hospitalizations and COVID-19 fatalities will decline significantly once we're able to vaccinate the most vulnerable. But Let's be clear, all of us will have to continue following public health guidelines even after the first wave of vaccinations have occurred. 
Now, I know people are getting tired and frustrated, but there, this is evidence that there is light at the end of the tunnel, and we can see uh, this critical juncture when we will get past the terrible damage that COVID-19 has co uh, caused for our society. So my message to Albertans today is this. We are ready for the vaccine, and we have a plan to get it out to you as quickly and as safely as possible. Of course, there will be updates and changes to this plan as more details around vaccine delivery become available and as the phases of this plan are announced. And we appreciate that other vaccines may come on stream following trials, which could accelerate the distribution schedule. On the other hand, given the huge logistical complexity and global demand, I think we can also expect delays along the way. Today's about ensuring that Alberta has the team and the plan in place to com uh, complete this critical task. This pandemic has had unimaginable impact on our lives and livelihoods. Getting a vaccine to Albertans and all Canadians is the best way to protect both.